Welcome back. Last night we told you about a resilience plan an Oregon Commission is working on to make the state more seismically sound for the Cascadia earthquake. Tonight, NBC 5's Elizabeth Ruiz found out what we can do to prepare. She joins us now. Elizabeth, what did you learn? Kristen, from survival kits to gardening, there's so much we can do to prepare for the big event. Even having a sturdy pair of shoes next to your bed can make a difference. It's important to realize that once the earthquake does happen, we'll all be our own rescuers. When this thing happens, it's going to shake from Northern California all the way up to British Columbia. It's going to be felt east of the Cascades. It's going to affect 15 to 20 million people, and the effects could last decades. Althea Rizzo is the Geologic Hazards Program Coordinator for the Oregon Office of Emergency Management. She spends much of her time on the road educating others on how to prepare for the Cascadia earthquake. We really recommend that families and neighborhoods and communities are able to be self-sufficient for at least two weeks. The basic needs come to mind, food, water, medication, some toiletries and a way to make shelter. Rizzo says you'll want to have one gallon of water per person per day. You can have some gallons of water set aside, but also think about how to make clean water. You can buy filters. There's lots of different filters online that you can buy for 20, 30 bucks. Beyond setting aside items, other ways to prepare include skills like foraging for native foods, staying in shape and learning how to garden. If you live in an apartment, even having a pot of tomatoes on the patio um, will make a difference. With more than 40 Cascadia earthquakes in the last 10,000 years, history shows it'll happen again. But Rizzo says if you prepare now, you could save your own life and the lives of other people around you. After the event is not when you want to be thinking about, I need water or my kid's medication is going to run out in three days. Rizzo says Southern Oregonians may have even more of a responsibility to be prepared as resources will first go up to areas like Portland where the highest concentration of people are. Live in studio, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.